you know what it is, baby, you know what it is. Right there, boy. <laughs> that's so weird. Uh, that song makes me move. I want to listen to it a thousand times in a row. I want to remix it. I want to cover it. I want to make it my own. <laughs> just, just turn it. I'm just gonna steal it from Vic Vega. Vic Vega, fight me off with your '80s machine guns, cause I'm coming for you, baby. Well, speaking of which. I did record a super cool lightning round new segment on Vox Populi, Chicken Poxuli on Party 85. It's cool, it's fast, and it's Big Vega. And here it is. So, do you want to do this lightning round? Lightning round. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Vicious Vega. <laughs> Vico <laughs> Vega. <laughs> yeah, see, now, now that almost sounds like a luchador. Victor Vega. Victor Vega! <laughs> um, Alright, let's do this. So, this is the Vox Popu Lightning Round. You see how I did that? Mm. I'm so clever. So, so quick. <laughs> Lightning quick. Okay, so right now I'm going to be playing um, tense, like, who wants to be a millionaire? Millionaire! <laughs> 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 God, this is going great. Um, I'm not starting this over. All right, no, so I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. Here we go. Question number one. Is Vic Vega your real name? No. Ooh. Are you willing to tell us what your real name is? Uh, no. That's uh, oh, top secret. Oh, snap. <laughs> top secret. Val <laughs> Kilmer. Good movie. Number two. <laughs> what is your favorite Saturday morning cartoon? Oh wow! Oh, favorite Saturday morning cartoon. Oh man. Uh, mm. I'm gonna say, uh, I think it was called Gummy Bears, not not Care Bears. I think it was called Gummy Bears, and it came on. That was a in, Disney afternoon thing, yeah. yeah Gummy yeah. Bears. <laughs> That's it. Dun, 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 here or there. <laughs> That's it. Oh, my God. I know it. I love that one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, question number three. Quickly. What is your favorite Saturday morning cereal? Oh, uh, Count Chocula. Count Chocula. Question number four. Question number four is submitted by your angry girlfriend. Your angry girlfriend's <laughs> question for you. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Who do I think I am? <clears throat> Vic Vega, babe. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> mm, I like you again. <laughs> oh, wow, you just flipped her around. She used to be angry and now she loves you again. Okay. Perfect. Question number five. What is your favorite dinosaur? Uh, Ankylosaurus. Ooh, okay. That's the... It's like it's on all fours and it has the tail with the, the tail. big bulbous end on it, right? Right. And for my whole life, I've been called an Ankylosaurus because I thought it's down by your ankles, but that's not how you say it. It's Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus. Ankylo Ren. Oh, nice. Right? Nice. All right. Question number seven. What is the first old video game that pops into your head right now? Le the first Legend of Zelda on the NES. Oh, super specific, and I love it. Question number seven. Back to Ankylo Renisaurus. <laughs> what color would your lightsaber be? I th Ooh. Uh, green. Green. Alternative question. If your eyes could glow like if you were in a cool music video, what color would they glow? What color would my eyes glow? I think it'd have to be red. Ooh. <laughs> red red like eyes the, and green lightsaber. You know, Christmas. since we're all <laughs> Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Christmas Jedi. And for a literary Star Wars reference, uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn style red eyes. Oh, man, I used to be into all that shit. <laughs> Um, oh, I want to read all of them all over again right now. Okay, question number eight. Do you like sandwiches? I love sandwiches. Question number nine. What is your favorite sandwich? My current favorite sandwich would be a Cubano in Miami. The Cuban Cuban sandwich with the pork and mm. the mm, 
pickle the mustard. For people who don't know what that is, it's uh, it's roast pork, right? Mm-hmm. Roast pork, ham, uh, layer of Swiss cheese. I don't like Swiss cheese. I, I'll use like provolone. Yeah, um, yeah. Sliced pickle, like pickle to fit on the sandwich, not like a whole spear. That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would just be way over the top. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, mustard. Right. Correct. Right? Mm-hmm, and exactly. uh, and then it's like in a, and then you squish it on a grill. So you like you toast it, melt it. Right. It's the panini style, but way before any of that Panera stuff. <clears throat> yeah. Damn Panera bastards. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Information on the lightning round. <laughs> Expanding your mind. One sandwich at a time. <laughs> Vox Populi. Um. Okay. <laughs> so the the synth wave and the synth wave and sandwich podcast. <laughs> The way of the sandwiches. <laughs> oh, snap. Um, number 10. If you could share that sandwich with any famous person and have a lovely mid afternoon lunch in that courtyard between the buildings, who would that famous person be? Oh, man. Um, it would be. Uh, all right. I'll just say, because I'm thinking about Miami, Michelle Pfeiffer from Scarface. Ooh. And, and even- we eat. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, I was gonna say we, we'd each start on one side of the, of of the sandwich, and we'd meet in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask, is she like the ornery version? Oh no, like no, uh, is she still? Uh, do you mean like just uh, Michelle Pfeiffer circa 1982? Yeah, I mean, it, but it would, not her character, but she. That, but the, <laughs> that's a good see, point is, because she's not the most. I imagine lovable. you. I just like you're not having a lovely mid afternoon lunch. <laughs> It'd be bad, yeah. It'd you're kind of just chewing on sandwiches and just going, <laughs> kind of, and she's just like pissed off. Yeah, yeah, th- that could back for it. Cause, cause Tony Montana only had a little window with her where she was cool. It was like she didn't give him the time of day, then they were cool, and then she hated him. So, like, I was picturing right in that little window. It's like five minutes in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where she's, um, where he, he he's just telling like he's seducing her when she's out having a tan in her like golden bikini thing. right right well not bikini um it's like a one piece mm-hmm. yeah and it's, and it's golden b- you're right and it's by the pool <clears throat> that's right by the pool at the house okay so question number 11 <laughs> all right <laughs> lightning round and this is the very last question we only have a few seconds to answer oh <laughs> uh oh. Your enthusiasm is lightning. <laughs> All right. And now on to the pertinent questions about you being a musical artist. What inspired you to make retro synth music and what got you in the game? Well, well you know it's a long Ooh, story. Sorry, we just ran out of time. Sorry, oh. Vic Vega. Sorry, oh. fans. Oh, uh, man. We had no more time, but I, that was a great lightning run. What do you think of that? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was, uh, it was exhilarating. Now I'm gonna show you what you won. You won um, a set of BK Ratchet, no, BK Knights, the Ratchet oh, sneakers. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's that's what I've always wanted. Click 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 click. I don't have the commercial right now, but uh, that's what I'll do. <laughs> awesome. Um, so fans, if you want to catch up with Vic Vega and know about his musical connections. Where can we find that out, Vic? Vicious uh, Victor. Yes, uh, you can find me on Twitter, Vic Vega, Vic Vega Music on Twitter, um, and you could always email me, Vic Vega Music at Outlook.com. Outlook is, is Outlook, like Outlook cool? Outlook <laughs> yeah. is not cool, brother. It's I'll not. I'll be honest it, with you. You gotta get it, something. <laughs> you gotta get your own thing. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, because Gmail sounds cool, but I don't like Gmail. It's so. Um, Hard, I just don't like it, but it definitely sounds sounds the coolest. We hope Mr. Vic Vega finds a new email, a cooler email, and uh, let's play a special request for him. It's his favorite Saturday morning cartoon theme song of the Gummy Bears, brought to you by Disney. 